Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures in Pop Culture, and we have a very exciting episode for you today. We are in Russellville, Alabama. Russellville, Alabama. Whew. And it is so good to be here mm -hmm. visiting our great friend from childhood, your best friend from your childhood. Absolutely. Will Stoltz. They're uh, very kindly letting us stay for a whole week, and we are here to gather as much pop culture goodness as we can from Alabama before we have to head back to Nebraska. But when, by the time this all said and done, we might have 100 episodes. We There's might. already a lot of ideas floating around. It's hard to tell. Yeah. So moving forward, we are going to do quite a few videos here uh, in, in the new Adventures in Pop Culture studio. This might be as good, if not better, than the original studio. Yeah. This is a very nice Definitely. setup. You're going to see a lot of different guest stars appearing with us. Or actually, mm -hmm. it's always still going to be two people. But yep. so some episodes I might not be a part of, some episodes Jason might not be a part of. When you're Who not knows? a part of them, it's going to be like, oh, geez, Who where's knows? the eye candy? Who knows That's what's going to happen? Where's the eye candy? And people are going to be like, oh my God, what do I look at now? Yeah. We are real. People are going to have to deal. Yeah. You're real, real eye candy. So are you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're sweet. I'm sour. You're sassy. Mm. True. Mm. So right now we have a little haul video to go through of a thrift store called Thrift America. From Decanter. This didn't come from Thrift America. Most Alabama. of this came from Thrift America. Yeah. See the town again. Sorry, I interrupted. Decanter, Alabama. Decatur? Decatur. Decatur. <laughs> Decatur. Oh. This guy doesn't do his research. Thank God Oof. I'm here. Oof. Oof. You want to go first or should I? Are we doing piles or are we going back and forth? Doesn't matter. I'm still going first. Oh, okay. Uh, Jeff picked up these. Jeff's have been doing a really good job lately of finding these little hardback books. And these are all weekly readers of... Uh, Fraggle Rock. So we got that one. And that one. Do you remember his name based on the Halloween episode we did recently? Migo? No, it's like Bogo or something. Bogo. I don't remember either. Yeah. I think it says on there. Oh, it does? Gobo. Gobo! This is, no one knows where Gobo goes. Gobo go goes. That sounds, uh... And that's traveling that. Quite, quite mysterious. Mm -hmm. Where does Bogo go? I like the acoustics in here. Yeah, this one. It sounds nice in here. Kind of some reverb. Yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm. I'll just finish mm. it up with Pound. That we're done? Do it. Pound Puppies. Uh, it's rumored that one of our guests on the episodes from this week are going to be uh, none other than uh, Josh, who gave us a Pound Puppy from Alabama. Yeah. So it fits in nicely. That would be crashers. awesome. I picked this up and I actually thought it was a coloring book, but it's just a... It's like a long storybook with tons of cool. I was gonna say that's no coloring book I ever did. Photos. Whoever colored that thing had some. Isn't talent. that neat? Very neat. Oh, like double meaning. What's the double meaning? It's colored neatly and it's a neat book. No, it's not a coloring book. No, if it was a coloring book, that would be very neat. That would be how crazy it's colored. That would be double neat. Free Willy two, and Free Willy one. Uh, we've gone on and on about how much we like these novelizations. These are for the YA audience. Uh, speaking of YA, it's rumored one of our other guests this week that are going to be Dalton. Ooh, Dalton Stoltz. That'll be great. I Dalton, just looked Dalton at him Stoltz. briefly. He's right Oh my god, he's made eye contact. And Jason, how dare you hold up these without mentioning Scholastic. These are from the Scholastic Book Fair. Like Scholastic's one of our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> I hear they still go. Yeah, I think... So let me just show this catalog. This is probably my favorite pickup of the day. Um, or from that store, I shouldn't say from the day. But it's this really nice coffee table book. This sucker originally, when you look at it, went for $35. Wow. What'd you pick it up for? Five. Oh my god. And the, this this covers the dust jacket's not great. But this thing. Seriously? We're trying hey, to show hey, two professional hey, videos hey, over here and somebody over there. We're his guests, it's okay. <sighs> but look at this. Just like that's the cast of a the original cast of *In Living Color*. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's just really nice, big pictures of like TV lands, legends, and uh, what else can we flip to randomly to show off? I don't know what show that is. Something else. It's hard to tell upside down. It's not upside down. You're well, upside for down. For us, it's oh, look at that. People oh, like really cool. Look at that one. But yeah, I like this book. That'll be a fun flip through. Mm. What do you got, Jeff? What do you got? Well, I will start with my hardback covers of *Can*. The Can You Imagine series. Mm. And these are all from the Muppet Babies. We've talked about the Muppet Babies before on the, the channel. And uh, they are just absolutely delightful. But again, they're just nice hardback covers. Uh, weekly readers. Little books of 
Muppet Babies. Here we have Baby Gonzo's Treasure Hunt. Up next we go, If I Were Just Like Kermit, where I guess Fozzie wants to be a lot like Kermit, but you know what? Fozzie, you're fine just how you are. In what messed up universe is a bear wishing he was a frog? <laughs> Boy, you know, that's a really good question. Jeez. Especially, you know, Fozzie's great. Yeah, Fozzie's but, you know, great. But this was Fozzie when he was a baby, but... He, he just needs to know that he grows up to be just fine. Yeah, Fozzie's delightful. He really is. Really Kermit's works. a little pretentious. And then we got Kermit the Hermit. This time. happened shortly after the falling out between Fozzie and Kermit, where Kermit's just like, <laughs> I don't want any more friends. I'm crawling into this hole. Crawling into the hole. Ah. And he disappears for several years until he befriends this worm. And he realizes, hey... The world deserves both of us. Did you re read these on the car ride home? That was a great synopsis. And the <clears throat> most daring feat that Gonzo has ever done, this is Gonzo saves the London Bridge. Hmm. And that is very, very exciting. Is that, is, isn't that like nothing what the London Bridge looks like? No, I'm pretty sure it looks just like that. Oh. I mean, why would Gonzo lie to us? Uh, and he apparently saves it with. I don't just... think you can put a double decker bus on a on a random bridge and call it the London. Have bridge. you been to London? No. No. You In my know. head, the London Bridge looks a lot different than know. that. But he's able to save the London Bridge with just balloons and a little chick. Hmm. Isn't that exciting? I bet that's a good read. Up next, pick this one up for ninety nine cents. It is the Curious George board game. Uh, yeah, I remember Cur Curious George when I was growing up, and it's from. Port Parker Bros. They make uh, a lot of good video games. They do. I was, try I was trying to find a year on it, and I couldn't. So let's see if we can find one real quick. Here's what the board game on the inside looks like. 1977. took me two seconds. Did you really find it? Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you for doing the research. You're welcome. Up next, we have the Cabbage Patch Dreams... Dang, that's minty. Vinyl record. I know. I, you know, I actually paid up for this a little bit. I paid $5 for it. But I only paid 5 bucks for it because it's from 1984. And it looks incredible. Like, it is like, that one looks brand new. Is. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't. It really does. It blows my mind when stuff that old looks that new. Like, it's, it's almost... It's still on the sleeve. Too and, good. And the record's, like, going to play beautifully. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm really all that excited to sit down and listen to 10 original Cabbage Patch songs. Parker Brothers music, still, yeah. But hey, I'll do it. I didn't know they did music, did you? No, I'm not sure. Parker Brothers <laughs> game into Parker Brothers music, that's yeah. kind of interesting. Parker Brothers should start paying us. They should. <laughs> they should. I know there's a Parker Brothers, Parker, Parker Brothers rep out there watching us right now. Mm -hmm. Send some of that money our way. Now... We'll start paying up, Parker Brothers. Yeah. Now we're on to our last item. And this it is, is the best thing. It is my favorite thing that I found all day long. Yeah. And it is... By the editors of Consumer Guide, it's Turtle Power. It's the unofficial history of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was released in 1990. So it just has that awesome, awesome 1990s pop culture nostalgia. Mm -hmm. But what I like more than anything is that the uh, cover art for it's this... It's clearly not authorized. Yeah, it's, it's like fan art for it. And then when you go through it, you know, of course they have the legal note down there that they don't know the entity, blah, blah, blah. A disclaimer. Yeah. And when you flip through it, it's just like, it's so cool. It's like about the action figures. And they got screen grabs from the movies. And this it goes, is one of those things, when we were kids, we would have just like studied this and it would have been crinkled in a mess. Yeah. And like brought into the bathroom, like how, Lord knows how many times. Yeah. It goes through the good guys, the bad guys. It tells you the history of like how the story began and everything like that. And uh, I'm, you know, I think that Ooh, this, the Nintendo, yeah, Turtles? Nintendo game, it has like the different nice. merchandise you could buy, the t-shirts and stuff. I think this is going to turn into some pretty awesome bathroom material mm -hmm. somewhere, at least for a week or two. Yeah. But yeah, so there we are. Uh, the first episode in our introduction to Alabama. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I honestly am wondering how many videos we're going to make. I think it might be quite a few. Yeah. I think we got a lot of potential talent down here to Ooh. do some videos with. Ooh. Ooh. It's going to be good. <sighs> Man, it's good. This has already been fun. And uh, boy, the rest of this week is going to be a blast. Yeah. Remember, five videos a week, Monday through Friday. They post at 8 a.m. 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Smash it. And if you're watching in Alabama, Alabama right now, yeah. If you're new and you're from Alabama, oh, looking at you, Brayden. Hit that subscribe. How come button. it took you so long, Brayden? He might have subscribed already. You don't know. No, but he didn't. He didn't look at a video until yesterday. Yeah. Brayden, you Brayden, left. I have watched like five of your videos by the time you watched one of my videos. Oh. Brayden, you left a very nice comment yesterday. I would like to thank you. I don't know why Jason's being so hostile to it. Hostility gets people to watch your videos, Brayden. Yeah. Okay. Well, remember. Too sweet. Two brothers in Nebraska. Pop culture's what they love. Join them as they talk about all of their cool stuff. Adventures in pop culture. Cool. <laughs> I do not like spicy food. Could not do it, bro.